Hello fellow gentlemen and beautiful ladies. My name is Lukundo Kitawi from Sarara School and I am honored to speak to you about my speech known as My Future World. The image I have in my head of what the earth is what the late Professor Wangari Masai advocated for. I believe that my image of the environment is as others. We all want to be seeing plants growing, clean water flowing, and grass looking more and more green each day. We should know that the environment includes animals. Animals have the capacity of thinking like human beings. For example, if your landlord or lady kicks you out of your house, it is like an animal crossing in another animal's territory. The animal will attack its tre trespasser. Similarly, a man trying to kick you out of your own house can be likened to kicking out an animal out of its own habitat. Now, everybody has fears. The air we breathing is at risk. By cutting down trees, we are at the risk of losing some of the main gifts and benefits they provide us to survive. Another benefit it gives us is shade. Many times we go to sit next to a tree just for shade. If it weren't for that tree, you still would be walking desperately asking God for mercy. Since we know that there are many trees in the world, that there is no big deal of cutting down a few. But I tell you, Ask those who live in deserts how much a tree can help by giving you shade. Ask people who have climbed the tops of mountains where there is no air and see how much a tree can help. If only trees give Wi-Fi, then people will understand the value of trees. My dreams, you may ask. I dream or hope that people from all continents and countries would work in harmony to a reforestate every forest. People who obey the law, planting two trees after cutting one, walking down the streets of any continent, you find trash and litter everywhere and anywhere. I applaud His Excellency the President of Kenya for banning the use of polythene bags in his country. Students, learn on how to conserve and protect the environment and all its wonderful God-made creatures from as high as the clouds to as deep as the oceans. I say, I have seen many disastrous things in my short lifespan. I, haven't wit I have witnessed trees being cut and burned down and glaciers rapidly melting. This is happening because of our actions. Our magnificent forests are, have been turned into plain lands. Countries have been choking on industrial pollution. I see people who look back and realize that we have the means of stopping this devastation, but we, me, but we mean, oh, oh my, but we don't seem to want to take action. Now, we need leaders to take bold and courageous actions for this matter. I tell you, I don't believe there will be a 2050 unless we do something. It's either we nobly save or meaningly lose our only home. Ah, thank you.